guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sylvia so today I'm you know spotting my tiny mini afro um, this is how it looks so anyways let's get to the main intro um, this tutorial is a maxi skirt and a crop top tutorial so the skirt length is 42 and the crop top is 16 inches so these are for the length and then for the crop top you need your bust measurement you need your waist measurement and your shoulder measurement and for the sketch you just need your waist measurement for the band so the band is two inches in length and then the main skirt is 40 inches so those are the measurements that i use what you will need you know them your sewing machine your fabric your chalk scissor and your measuring tape so those are the things that you're going to need okay so this um video is quite simple like it's not a really difficult video all you need to do is follow the steps and all right so i feel like i've run out of ideas like to show you guys like what to make so if you have any you know maybe tutorial ideas that you want to see just leave them in the comment section below so without um wasting much of your time let's just get right into the video I'm going to cut the top first so the um, length of this top is 16 so I'm going to add 3 inches um, seam allowance why am I adding 3 inches is because there's going to be a turn up at the bottom to give it a, a very clean finish so I'm going to mark my 19 So this is my center fold. Okay. So the neck measurements for the um, neck I'm going to mark three inches then the shoulder my shoulder length is seven and a half so we're going to mark seven and a half here from this point we're going to mark down eight that is the armhole length okay so the I'm not going to use the full um, shoulder length because I want the top to have a small a smaller shoulder so I'm going to mark two and a half at this point here so my bust measurement is 38 divided by 4 that is 9 and a half plus 2 inches seam allowance that is 11 and a half so I have the full length here okay So, to curve this armhole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this point I marked two and a half, and I'm going to curve from that point. Okay, so now the length of my um show uh, my neck is three inches likewise is a um, circle neck round neck sorry I'm just going to cover that as well okay then for my waist I have 32 divided by 4 that is 8 8 inches 1 inch for that and then 2 inch for um, seam allowance so everything together is 11 so I'm going to join the lines okay 
in our court. So this is the front pattern. So I'm going to place this on the on another fabric to get the back. I'm not going to be adding zip allowance because the zip will be at the side of the top. So for the maxi dress, I have here the total length of this fabric is three yards, and the whole um I folded it into four, so everything here is three yards now for the length of the skirt my skirt length will be 42 42 inches that's the length of the skirt so it's a very long skirt actually so i have here 40 and i have here this is the band two inches so that's how we're going to gather the whole the entire tree out on this um waistband this is actually 32 inches plus um zip allowance and then uh one inch seam allowance to sew the edges so i can have a clean finish all right and for the top i have here i have here um Top for the front and the back so I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the lining for both of them and also I'm going to cut out a lining as well for the skirt you can use any desired length how long you want your lining to be if you want it to be full three quarter length you want it to be half just the most important thing is for the lining to be full you can use three yards as well for the length of the line for the width sorry okay so I'm going to cut the lining and then I'm going to come and show you how I start assembling the whole thing so I'm done cutting the lining for the um, top so I'm going to show you how I sew it so this is the front part this is the right side so we're going to take the lining that we cut the right side as well okay so we're going to the first thing we'll sew is the bottom right sides facing each other we're going to run a straight stitch from this point here Once we um, finish the stitch, we're going to pull the lining to the top like so, and then we're going to sew the neck. So since this is an armless top, we're also going to join sew the shoulder as well. And then you're going to sew the side. You're going to sew the shoulder, then the side. So once you are sewing the side, you will notice that the material came forward. You just match it like so just um, run the stitch like so 
and then do the same thing for the other side so while you're doing the same thing for the other side leave about two inches so that you can turn the um fabric to the front part because you're sewing it right sides together so you've got the right sides inside so once you leave two inch you have to you turn it to the um front part so i'm that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do the same thing for the back as well i'm also going to fix my dart um without showing you what i do so i'm going to have a video on how i manipulate my dart um later on then i would um put the zipper as well so for the skirt the maxi skirt i'm going to so this is um the bias um sorry i said the bias this is the paper stay i didn't um get the gum stay so i'm going to be using paper stay i doubled it so what the first thing you do is you would um sew like so you would fix this fix this together like so then fold it at the center and run a stitch hold on okay so you're gonna run a stitch half an inch and you're going to do the same thing to the other end then once you're done you turn it to the front and then when you turn it to the front like so this is the right side so that's what you do and once you're done turning it we're going to take our three yards of fabric and then we'll start pleating so i'm going to go ahead and do the first procedures i've explained and then once i'm at this point i'll come and show you what to do later on so i'm done this is the finished look I've added my darts I think I'm done just so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sew the shoulders by half an inch and then join the sides so you know how we do it you will measure the total length that you have on the blouse this is 21 inches we're going to minus it by your bust length divided by two that is 19 and a half so i have here one and a half so i'm going to just cut out um three quarter from both sides do the same thing for the waist um i have here 18 and a half my waist measurement is 32 divided by two that is 16 so i have here two and a half inch inches i'm going to shape here one and a quarter and the other part one and a quarter so that is that for then once i'm done i'm going to attach my zip to the side so i have my invisible zipper that i'm going to attach so this zip is quite long so i don't know i might do a full um zip from the top like so so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that if you want to see a zip um attachment tutorial i could make that as well so this is my band for my waist i've gone ahead to you know finish the the side the edges i've sewn it so what we are going to do next is to gather all the three yards into this band to have the maxi effect. So I'm just going to pick a side that I want to be at the front. So I think I will take, okay, I'm going to take this side as the, the front. right sides to right sides so we're going to leave out um one inch for zip allowance before we start pleating or gathering actually i don't even know if i should pleat or if i should gather i really don't know so 
as the one inch. Okay. I think we're just going to do a do tiny pleat. While you're pinning, you should try and go down a bit so that you leave space when you're running your machine so you don't um, break your uh, machine needle. So I'm going to keep going like so, this direction. So I'm just going to um, do a little and show you how it will be now for example you are you've gathered it and the material is still SS you'll have to do it all over again so that it would you know fill the space okay if you've noticed I don't like actually like pinning my stuff I just have to do it so that I can show you the how it would look at the front so this is it I don't know if okay if you can see it so that's what I'm going to do till I get to the other parts and then I'm going to leave one inch for the um, zip allowance as well Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pleat, pleat, <laughs> pleat all that and then I'll come back and show you when I'm done pinning. Okay, so I'm done with pleating it. This is how it turned out. So, what we're going to do, I left one inch at the side like I told you for the zip allowance. So we're going to take the two and we're going to take the two ends like this and we're going to sew one inch from the bottom straight to the top so when we get here I didn't sew this part so I'm just going to stop at where my zip will end and then I'm going to top stitch that part then I'm going to um, attach my zip and then um, put the what's it called a pressing button at this point I'll put a pressing button here and that is not all we have the lining we have to put the lining for the um, skirt so I just cut, I divided the full length of the skirt by half and I cut out the lining as well. So I'm going to show you how to attach the lining to the um, fabric to get a clean finish because we're not going to leave this raw edge like that. Alright. Okay, so I'm done joining the back. So what I want to do now is, before I put the zip, is to put the lining. So you're going to face the lining in the um, opposite direction like of how you sewed the pleat. So we sewed the pleat on this side, so the lining will face this side. So this is my lining. And also the lining helps to give... Um, the maxi dress volume as well so you can make it really long so it will give you volume so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to exempt the one inch for zip allowance we don't need the lining causing issues while we are sewing our zip so we're just going to move it to the side so i will start pleating you can pleat in any direction that you want to go and when you're sewing sew at the tip so that um the sewing doesn't come and disrupt the one you've done before just sew it at the tip so it um, sits um, perfectly so when you're done you can turn it in 
you will also join the two sides of the the two ends of the lining you will join it as well and leave about five to six inches at the tip that way when you're wearing your zipper you don't have issues so to give it ease as well so i'm going to go ahead and pleat it and once i'm done i will add the zip and that is all for this dress for this i don't know why i keep saying dress for this skirt okay so i'm also going to finish up the raw edge you're going to fold it twice and then run a straight stitch all through so basically that is it for the skirt the um, top i already um shaped it and i added the zip so i'm just going to go ahead and try it on and show you the finished look okay so i have attached the lining this is the raw edge this is the front of the dress so it's going to go inside like so you see you have a smooth flawless edge okay so your edge has gone inside there's nothing no need of um, surgeon or anything so that is that so I'm going to finish the raw edges I'm also going to fold the bottom of the lining as well I'm going to add my zipper so this is the skirt is really full really maxi okay let me show you the top okay this is the top as well I hope you can see it so I'm gonna go try it out 